This video is created in response of a user on Arco Linux forum. What happens if you can't log in at this point in time? We have logged in and we have this version running. But what if you can't log in at all? So you choose XFCE, OpenBox, i3, but you just can't log in. Well, I've made lots of tutorials already about it, but let's make one that contains then the information specifically for the articlenext.com inside the fixes menu. When you do an installation and something breaks and you get this nice image you see up here, this, this little line and that's it, right? You need or you can solve it. This tutorial is about two solutions. There's the first solution is to get to the TTY. TTY is a terminal and you can get there with Ctrl Alt and together pressed in and then F2, F3, F4, F5 and then till you get something to log in to, right? It's going to ask your login and it's going to ask your password and then you can undo whatever you did or probably in this case of the forum question here, update the system because it's um, it needs to be updated uh, to today, which is January 2019. Now, if you're on a virtual box like I am, if you just saw the line up here, then you know I am. Then you don't use the control alt key, but you use the right control. So look at your keyboard. You have the left control and a right control. Right control F2 is going to make me um, log in. So I can do that right now and show you guys, this is my TTY on VirtualBox. And it's at this point in time, at this level, you can do anything. You can remove stuff, you can update stuff, you can, um, well, you're the master of the system at this point. You can always get in, if you get here, you can always change things, right? If you wanna get back, that's Control F7 for you. So all these guys are TTYs, but the F7 is again this graphical interface. That solution one, I would suggest to this person and this video is going to be copy paste in the answer. That's the first and the easiest way to do is get to TTY, update stuff or delete stuff, things that you've done or forgotten, install them. The next, so this is articlenux.com, but like I said, I'll make a new uh, article containing this video in the fixes. The other thing is in the arclinuxd.com. It's written down here also in the fixes. Fix your Arch or Arch Linux. This is a very powerful system. But then you, well, you need to follow the tutorial, of course. But it's about becoming, um, it's prior to Arch Linux at all. You boot from a USB and you start shrouding st stuff, you start loading up mounting partitions and then uh, changing things. So this code here, that's actually coming from phase five, the Arch Linux way, the Arch way. So you can always do that. There is always a possibility to, to use the power of Arch root, it says here, when your computer crashes. So if you really can't get into the TTY, this is the solution. This is what you need to do. And I've done it in the past. And it's just awesome because it means your PC never crashes. If you know what the solution is, you can always fix an Arch Linux system. So basically two solutions. Find out if you can get to TTY if you're locked out. And in this case of the user, he's, he's not locked out. He's locked uh, out here at the light DM. So when you log out, he gets this message of light DM but whatever, whatever he chooses here, he just bounces back and comes back to LightDM. So it's, we have to get behind it. So as of here, I can equally use Control F4. Let's try another one. So TTY4, you can see it up there. And again, you have to figure out what did I do or what did, did I not do? In this case, there's a lot to update, for instance. So you update. 1.5 gigabytes to update or you check out also the PKS YUA maybe that's uh, blocking something uh, but you have to figure it out yourself and I give you the tools and uh, how to get there and to get the work done but it's up to you of course to 
remember what did I do or what did, did I not install and, and etc. All right. Enjoy the analysis of your system, I would say.